Hi, I'm Stephen Hamm from Archery Supplies and today we're going to look at the Premier Arrow Rest from Spot Hog. Um, now I was going to shoot this video in a nice location um, down the coast and I was going to show you scenes of South Australian coastline but my video camera didn't work and it was massive storms so I thought what I'd do is I'll just throw some pictures in this video of places I went to this weekend um, so you can see how pretty the state is I live in. Um, now the Spot Hog Premier, now this arrow rest has been, been made since about the 1982 and it's been a rock solid arrow rest. It's been my go-to arrow rest on all my bows since 1982. Um, and literally I've had no problems with any of, the, any of them and it's basically since 1982 this arrow rest has not changed in design. Now it comes with this little blade here. Now this is generally used for hunters using you know thicker carbons. Now I wouldn't recommend this blade. I had problems tuning it, tuning it on one bow. Now in the past that thing tuned no problems with the two forks, but my last bow I had issues with it. So if you do have trouble tuning, tuning the two forks, just take it off and fit the blades to it. There should be a spare arm in here for those two blades which is strange so these two blades here come in two sizes 0.1 and 0 0.08 0 0.1 is your thicker blade that's used for bows and you know arrows that are heavier the 0 0.08 is for arrows which are lighter there's also a heavier blade thickness 0.12 if you're using very very heavy hunting arrows now the blade width comes in three sizes, a small, this is the medium, and a large. I use the medium and I use the 0.1. So about the arrow rest here, it's got micro adjustment up or down. To adjust it, micro adjustment up and down, you've got this screw here, you loosen, you adjust it using that screw. Left and right, you loosen that screw, and then this here moves it left to right. On the side, you've got a spring, you take this screw fully out and you dial this to increase or decrease the spring tension on here. To replace the arm or change the angle of this arm you've got two screws there and there. Um, so on the side there and there you've got to loosen both and this arm slides out to change the angle. Now this has been my go-to RRS like I said because it's been bulletproof, it's got micro adjustment and it's very price sensitive as far as it's it's got all that micro adjustment and in the price market this sells for around a hundred odd dollars I think making it very very affordable as far as top quality blade rests on the market this is this is cheap um, compared to other RRS, blade RRS on the market. Now I like the spring tension with a blade. A lot of people use the fixed blade. Um, I like the spring on it. Gives me a little bit more tuning. And also if someone wants to press on that blade, it just folds out the way, it, it won't bend. Um, so if someone, you know, if you've got a blade rest on the arm and something presses against it, then it'll bend down. This here, because it's spring activated, and I find it get less wear with the spring, so. I really like this rest. Like I said, it normally comes with a spare shaft, so. And this was a new packet, so maybe they forgot to put it in the package. Now, Spot Hog, um, originally this was called a Golden Premier. Um, Golden Premier, sorry, the Golden Premier, <laughs> Golden Key produced a whole bunch of RRS on the market, and my understanding is Spot Hog used to make it for them. Um, Golden Key went out of business. And then Spot Hog started making archery gear um, under their own brand. That's my understanding. But I mean, Spot Hog's been on the market for 20, 20 years, I'm going to guess. A long, long time. They make really good products. And with this product, like I said, I've been shooting it since 1982. In fact, the original Golden Premier RRS, I would still have on one of my bows. They are just rock solid, no problems, a go-to RRS at a good price. There are cheaper RRS made in China, um, but they tend not to have all these features that this one has. So, I'm Stephen Han. I hope you've enjoyed the review on the Spot Hog Premier. Now, this RRS, like I said, this is for target archers. Um, if you're doing 3D with the two prongs, perfectly suitable 
um, good solid rugged RRS I hope you've enjoyed the pictures I've had shame I can do it down on site um, I would like to have those pictures and sort of showed you but I figure I'll make another trip down there and do it in, in one of my other videos I produce thanks for watching bye